Hello, it's me, Sherman's Vlog. Um, I just got this from my uh, local auto parts store. Um, I have in here is my rotors. I need to change out on the van because they are scarred up so bad. Um, and I got brake pads. Uh, this is the rotor right here itself. Yep, okay. Just for safety. I'll put this thing right here. If the jack does fall or give out, that's gonna stop it, hopefully. A 1316. Make sure you don't lose these. Okay, the wheel should just come right off. All right, this is what I was gonna show you. You see, there's grooves in it so bad. It's time to replace them. All right, go ahead and get you a 3 8 Allen wrench like I have and break this loose, right? But I've done brakes before, but never a rotor. And I haven't changed these brakes since I, um, I've never changed the brakes in this van since I had it. So go ahead and take out the second one. And this should just pop out. Just like so. Okay, set that off to the side. Okay, that should work. These are my old brake pads. Even the brake pads are, have scars on them. Okay, okay. Carter pins should come out right now. Okay, there goes your Carter pin. Make sure you don't lose that, you, you would need it. All right, this right here, I don't have a right socket for this, so I'm gonna have to, okay. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I've got gloves. Okay, make sure you don't lose that piece either. All right, now this should just come right out. Okay, when you take off the rotor, there's a total of two bearings. There's one here, when you pull it off, it comes out. And then you have another one right here. You have to get a screwdriver, pop the washer out, and the bearing comes freely out, so. There's two bearings. Don't just look at the one. There's two, one here and one on the front side. So make sure you take both of them off. If not, you're gonna mess up your rotor, your brand new rotors. It should just slide right on. Oh yeah. Now take your bearing and put it inside. Slide it all the way in. And there's a groove right here. You gotta line it up to this right here. You see the groove? Line it up, push it all the way in. Take your bolt.
really hope this is the right one. It's kind of loose. But then again, nah, yeah, it's the right one. It's not moving at all. Put it about right there. Take your carter pin, put it in the groove, and slip it all the way down. You may have to tap it a little. Go ahead and bend them apart. So all right, go ahead and put your cap back on. All right, I got a rubber mallet. Okay, that should work. All right, now do the brakes. <coughs> They come with four. And I've seen people put these in wrong. Okay, they go just like this right here. Okay, remember the, this part goes on the brakes. Goes on it. may be the wrong size. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the right size. I'm gonna have to get something I'm gonna have to get it uh, a C clamp. Hold on. I think I got it this time. Uh, hopefully. Okay, I finally got it. I had to do it off 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 camera because I was getting mad. This piece goes right here. Uh, hope, hopefully it's gonna work this time. What's wrong with that thing? Where's my rubber mallet? I can't get a good angle on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now take your bolts, these things. Make sure they line up. Thank you for watching me do my rotors. Uh, I know it showed in the video, it only looked like I only did one side, but I did left and right side. Uh, very easy job to do. It's just uh, taking off the brakes, it took a lot of time. Very good learning experience for myself. Uh, but if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and give a, me a big thumbs up. 
uh, if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you want to never want to miss out oh my goodness I can't even talk but if you never want to miss out on another video go ahead and hit that bell so you would never miss out and go ahead and uh, leave me a comment and thank you so much